Shalom and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. Uh, we're so glad you can join Meridel and I here in Mevaseret Zion in my office today. I've invited Meridel to come in and uh, share a little bit with you about uh, what does the Bible say in comparison to what does the newspaper say today. This is a biblical commentary on events happening here in Israel. Meridel, it's so good to have you here. Thank you, Jay. And what a privilege to be able to speak to our friends all over the world. And this morning we're also speaking to China. And we're so grateful for the open doors into China Amen. and for all of our years of work and documentaries uh, going into the Chinese language. And uh, it's a new day. That's right. Yesterday we had uh, a meeting with um, uh, Dr. Andre and a gentleman by the name of Leszek. Uh, from Poland, and they have a vision to get uh, more and more information into uh, China. And uh, they've approached us and they said, we love uh, what you do at Israel Vision. We love to see your programs, the documentaries, uh, the daily commentaries, and of course uh, the TV show, People Making a Difference. And they want to get this material into China, into uh, Eastern Europe, Poland, um, the Ukraine, um, also down into the Middle East, into Iran, and as we mentioned, into China, the largest populated uh, country of the world. And uh, we're especially de de delighted about this because it was back in 1960, when was it, 1971, when we went into China first, um, no, 1979, sorry, 1979, when we went into China with a group from Canada and we went to the Western Wall, the Western Wall, the China Wall of China, and we blew the shofar on that wall. It was a, an amazing event. It was. We've had several amazing events. <laughs> and uh, on that trip, we took the first Israelis ever to go into China. And uh, I hope that... They had the, second passports, of course. I hope that in the days ahead, we'll be able to trace some of the history that we have made uh, to be uh, even backed up with film footage. But I want to say, Jay is saying that our programs are going into these nations, but I want you to understand that they're going into the languages of these nations. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're already in these nations. People can pull down all of our work in English, but it's, it's now time to get it into many languages. And so we thank you for standing with us here we are sitting on the hills of Jerusalem, speaking out into the earth, and it is such a joy and such a privilege, and we want to give glory to the God of Israel today. And for those of you who are, who are wondering uh, about just what is happening and who are feeling nervous, not only with your economic straits, but with the spiritual warfare that's going on, I think it's important to understand that today is a day when the lines are being very clearly drawn, just as they were in the ancient biblical times, between the gods of the earth and the God of, the, of Israel, the Lord God of Israel, whose name in English, one of his many names is the Lord of hosts, which is the army, the God of the armies of heaven. And I think we need to rethink again that there is a higher authority that we must continually look to. It's not coming out of Washington or even Jerusalem, unfortunately, but it is written, and the words that are written by the faithful prophets will surely come to pass. And so we thank you for your interest and for being with us and for allowing us to speak into the situation today. Well, in regard to what we're talking about, uh, I mentioned Meridel's mentioning about our work going out among the nations. We've had a request from Latin America and also another request last week from uh, Romania uh, for, our, for the work that we are doing to go into those nations. And this is what the Bible says will happen yes. uh, in the time of the Messiah, of course. But leading up to that, I, can, I believe that we should expect this to happen. Yes. And that is the word of the Lord. The law will go forth from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So this is uh, Jay and Meridel reporting to you, saying that God's word is yea and amen and will last forever. The heaven and the earth will pass away, but my word will stand forever. And it's so good to be able to share with you uh, the word of God in relation to what's 
happening here in Israel today. Thanks for being with us, and we look forward to being with you again real soon. Shalom from Jerusalem. Shalom.